Hello again, and welcome back to some more Battletech with me, PMC317. So today, <coughs> we are going to go back into the campaign with McLeod's Night Horse and Claymore. And we are going to do some of the campaign. Um, in which I mean, not obviously. Um, basic contracts, but actual proper story missions. Okay, so <clears throat> um, just to remind ourselves of how our lances are set up like. So we have a heavy lance that is comprised of three dragons and black knight. We have three sorry three shadow hawks and a centurion as our medium lance. Um, I want to rejig the centurion again because um, I've come across a build that I think uh, might work quite well. And Mac warrior wise who do we have? Okay, we have seven pilots. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep, seven pilots. Um, we should probably push that up to eight at some point. Commander. And Order. I think all of them are Commander. at a point where they need to get some more experience before they can uh, improve any further. So one thing to do now, the first thing to do now is wait for our mechs to be upgraded. Your actions against our interests are earning you a powerful enemy, Commander, says the local pirate organization. Continue to impede pirate operations in this region and you will pay the cost. Not interested, don't care. Don't work for pirates. <clears throat> Carlisle's bid. In your quarters, glitch points to a compad. Commander, I got an offer from another company, the Grey Death Legion. Their CO, Grayson Carlisle, is paying top dollar for mercs. He's even offering a kickback to any company he poaches from. 100,000 sea builds. That's unusual, you say, examining the paused image of Carlisle on the compad. Go on. Carlisle's something else. I played his message over and over, the way he talks. I know he could really shake up the galaxy, and I want to be a part of that. Glitch smiles bittersweetly. But this crew is my family, and leaving isn't so easy. What do you think? I'm going to caution Glitch against making a quick decision. I don't know if the galaxy needs any more shaking up. It's already a mess, Glitch. Think long and hard before you sign on with Carlisle. Talk is cheap. Usually it gets mech warriors killed. Glitch rubs the back of her head. You don't trust him? It's not that. I don't know much about Carlisle. But you know we've got your back on the Argo. It's your decision, Glitch. Just take your time. Do some research. Glitch nods slowly. You're right. I shouldn't make a decision too quickly. Later that night, she knocks on your door. Just wanted to say I'll be sticking around. I gave it some serious thought, but I can't imagine a better crew than this one. No lasting consequences. That's alright. We hang on to Glitch then, so that's good. For those of you on YouTube, I might just skip ahead if this is... Got a new financial report for you, Commander. If nothing else happens. Okay, so we have now our heavy lance fully set up. We have one, we have two, three, and four. Um, let's have a look at the contracts. So we don't have any priority missions just yet. That's fine, um, but we are, I think, pretty good um, in terms of contracts. So let's go for raiding party because it's a battle which I like, it's polar which I also like, and it's nearly a million sea builds in pay. So I want max salvage. Um, actually, do I want max salvage? Yeah, I do. Yeah, Max salvage. And um, let's go. So Cloud 4, Cloud 3, Cloud 2, Black Knight. Doop, doop. Right, we're going to take Claymore, obviously. And we will put uh, Behemoth in Cloud 2. And Battlecry in Cloud 4. And Renegade in Cloud 3, just to give them a bit of experience. It is a three skull mission, 
but we have three and a half uh, shields, so I think we should be alright. By the way, for those of you who are on stream, if you can hear me or have any difficulties hearing me, please let me know. I'm using a new um, mic setup. Also, for those of you on stream, hello, and do feel free to chat in the chat. As opposed to, I don't know, like somewhere else. <laughs> okay. So, the, in the intel is that we have detected an inbound dropship belonging to the local pirate organization. Our local defense forces in the expected drop area are ill-equipped to handle a lance of mechs. But with your aid, we can ensure the raid does minimal damage. We'd like you to intercept the pirate lance and destroy it. Oh, hello, Flappy. Darius says, Commander, the pirates wouldn't send a dropship if they didn't mean business. So if we take this job, we should stay alert down there. Begin mission. Enemy dropship landed somewhere in this area, Commander. Acquire their location and engage them. I'm good, thank you. Let's put a stop to their raid, Commander. Uh, it's long time okay. no see. Okay. Long time no see on stream. I'll have to tell uh, Sarah Strange Position that you have confirmed. graced my stream with your presence. Um, how are you? Right, okay, so we have bumped into the enemy. What have they got? We have two mediums and a heavy. Uh, Shadowhawk. C5. And what's this? Ooh, a quick draw. Okay, that's interesting. That is a quick draw with um, a, a not an ace pilot, an improved pilot. Right, I'm going to let the enemy lance move entirely, so I know what's going on, what they've got, and then I will jump on them. What's that? Don't like that. Okay. Yeah. Um. Keep an eye on the. Uh, Discord, I think. That's probably the best thing to do there. Right. This will be interesting. This is long-range missiles. Not doing a great deal of damage, but that's okay. Yeah. The main thing here is to remove evasion. Um. Ah, brilliant. Mm -hmm. I'll have to, uh, have to tell them. Okay. Good. Okay, we've gotten some good hits in here. The 60% damage reduction is a bit irritating, but um, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> okay. So what I'm trying to make sure to do is focus all of the fire my lance on one enemy mech. And also try and keep my lance in cover to gain much the same sort of benefits as that one is. However, um, my Black Knight doesn't really have anywhere to go now, which is a bit irritating. Um, so I think we'll go over here and use it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven medium lasers. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's another mech over there. Okay, so they've got three mediums and a heavy. <clears throat> Hello, everybody on stream. It is very nice to see uh, people in the chat. Ooh, stray shot. Okay, this is a tiny problem with setting up like this, is that you do open yourself up to stray shots. If you spread out a bit more, it's usually a bit better. Ah, I think we're going to have a medium laser off between the Black Knight and the uh, Quick Draw. Warning. Armor low. <laughs> I'm losing a lot of armor here. 
Right. I'm under heavy fire. I'm not too bothered about that shadow hawk. Um. Oh no, I've moved past the quick draw and cannot shoot it. Oh, it's a Jaeger mech. Okay, that explains that. Okay. Precision strike. Why not? Let us precision strike the center torso. Good stuff. <clears throat> Excellent. Flappy's in the chat. Flappy? Mm -hmm. Flappy! How have you been? They've been good, I think. I miss you. It is tempting to use the... Flappy says hello. Use the quick draws. Uh, sorry, the... Um, dragons to put some melee damage onto the quick draw um, but I think instead we're just going to shoot it they're good because now it's opened up um, Targeting for an alpha strike. so we can do some damage to it which is good I may, by the way, um, start eating, so apologies in advance for any horrible noises that you may hear. Go with meet Mike. No. I mean, I could meet my mic. Yeah, that is a, that is actually an option, but um, it's not quite as entertaining as going... <laughs> yeah, I, I just hate my viewers. That's, that is exactly it. So with any luck... Yeah, okay. So the Jaeger mech is now really badly banged up. I will need... Um, Flappy has subbed to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Flappy. Sarah says thank you. I was literally just talking the other day about how much I missed you in my stream. Yeah, Sarah misses you. Come back to the stream. I was oh, complaining yeah. about hand. <laughs> Three months up. You have been missed. Ooh, okay. Right. This is an interesting lance, actually. Um, the quick draw is... Ooh, okay. The quick draw is a serious threat. I should probably do something about it. Especially as it has now helpfully gone and turned itself into a sort of on fire thing. Problem is, I don't have any jump jets on my mechs. Order. I do, however, have this. Yeah, okay, I'm still. <laughs> Decision strike. Here it comes. It's become a happy bunny. <laughs> oh, my new emotes working. Yep. Flappy is upset that the trolling bunny is now a happy bunny. Sorry. Affirmative. How could I miss it such close range? Oh, that's because it's a long range weapon. Yeah. Good to go. I knew that. Uh, right, let's move Bayam off over here and try Got and it. deal with the Jaeger mech. Excellent. So that's the Jaeger mech down. Thank you very much. And now... Um, it's still a very nice bunny though, so you have to give it that. Oof. A lot of 
cannon fire going on from the Shadow Hawks. The Shadow Hawks are good, really good met. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the LRMs from Battlecry to precision strike the rear torso. And that will knock the quick draw down to the Commander. assault phase, which means that our heavy max can then go before it. Messing around with the initiative phase is really useful. Here we go. Nice, there we go. Excellent. Okay, so that's the quick draw out the way. Another one for the kill board. Which means that we can now pick on a Shadowhawk and be mean to it. So let's go and do that. And we'll do this one because it doesn't have any evasion at all. I think this means we get to see the enormous number of medium lasers operating as intended from my Black Knight. That's absolutely fine. You have a conversation in my chat. I do not mind. That's what it's there for. Uh, right. Let's try and core out the Shadowhawk. Eh. Spread the damage across the upper torso. But that's okay. Ooh, some melee action, I think. Ah, missed. Excellent. Right. Why am I doing that? Okay. Oh, I know why. Right. Apologies, everybody. Um, I want this mech dead. So, unfortunately we can't precision strike it again, um, because we lack the uh, inspiration. However, we have spread damage across the front of it quite nicely. Oof, 85 points of damage. Yes, Commander. Um, right. On my way. Firing full complement on him. One of the key things in this game is um, concentration of fire. So often you'll find that AI will I'm not concentrate at fire. Um, or it will Confirmed. spread damage when it doesn't need to. Uh, which means that you can get away with um, a lance in a better position than it should be, really. Copy that. Nightbot. Don't be mean. Cool, okay, that's two, there we go. And our explosion, it's on the mech down, so we just have this Shadowhawk to deal with now. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'll have to do something with Nightbot at some point. I keep saying that, but I really do. I have to do something to Nightbot. I, I, um, I'm wondering it, I'm sure I did. Hanging in there. I replaced it with, um, Cloudbot. I'm spamming. Who's all trying now? Uh, right, okay. Now we can precision strike, and I want to precision strike. <laughs> we are all in it together. Except for Nightbot. Um, let's try and take off the left torso. Cloudbot. 
close, but to no Ready banana, I think. Um, right. Roger that. Ah, wow, a follow. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, Trash Wiz, and thank you for the follow. That's really kind of you. Um, right. So the two precision strikes there mean that next turn, that my whole close. lance is going to activate before the Commander. Shadowhawk. <laughs> Which is obviously a good thing. Um, there we go. Moving. Uh... I'm a bit disappointed, though, that wa there weren't any interesting mechs, um, that was a critical because hit. the Eager mech isn't actually that Ready good, um, I don't think, anyway. Confirmed. But then again, my playstyle in this game is very much a sort of brutal, get up close and yeah, kind of style. Very, Roger. I very much prefer the brawler mechs. Oh, amazing! You're hosting. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the host, Sarah Strange. That's really kind. Um, okay, so now you get to see the impact of fiddling around with initiative. So really that medium mech should have gone before my lance. But because I knocked it down, I can do this. Enemy mech. Critical damage Which is to say, blur it tiny little bits. Uh, four people on stream, gosh, hello everybody. Commander. Fame, fame and fortune, I tell you. Uh, right. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to get rid of Nightbot. There we go, okay, so that was reasonably quick, which is always good. Gives us time for at least one more mission, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Good job, Commander. Let's debrief aboard the ship. Mission successful. Okay. Excellent work, Commander. I was right to put my faith in you. You're a critical part of the restoration effort. So we've only got 80,000 sea builds. Um, Black Knight needs to go into the repair shop. And that's okay. Everybody got 2,400 XP, which is brilliant. Right, so I do want that improved AC5. I will definitely take the improved medium laser. Um, now, in terms of cash, five people on stream. Wow. <laughs> Let's take the Jaeger mech because we can sell the part for a fair bit. Um, and we got plenty of other bits and pieces, so that's good. Right, okay. You'll have to excuse me. It's mutiny on the bounty in my uh, in my chat. Our mech warriors are gaining an experience and need your guidance, Claymore. If you head to the barracks, you can direct their training. Right. Okay, speaking of which, let's do that. So, battle cry, 4,800 XP, good stuff. Okay, we want gunnery. Yes, gunnery. Mech warrior training it is important. Bayamoth, 3,400. They don't have anything, she can't do anything yet. Claymore, on the other hand, um, I want coolant vent for Claymore. I have plans for Claymore's mechs. Let's do that. Training confirmed, Commander. Ready for Glitch, producer, yep. Renegade. Commander. Okay, Renegade is going to get... We have two of those, we have two of those, we have two of those. So we probably want um, gunnery, and then we'll take some tactics as well. Training okay. complete. good stuff. Right, I was in Mac Bay's. Repair McLeod 1. And manage the tasks. Shoot that all the way up to the top. And then let a day take over. Those Work. upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. Okay, the refit harness upgrade is complete. So let's go and spend some of our hard earned cash. 
and make the Argo even better than it already is. So we could get some more mech bays, but that's not an urgent requirement just yet. We could get some repair scaffolding. We could get another habitat pod, which allow us to start putting things in, like another med bay, uh, the gym, stuff like that, more training modules. Make the ship faster, which I think is probably, probably worth doing, actually. Um, so, the Argo's drive is only operating at a fraction of its potential, Commander. With some time and materials, I believe I can boost the output of the secondary fusion reactors. To put it simply, I'll make the Argo go faster. So this costs 360,000 sea builds, completes in 15 days, and will make us basically 20% faster. Um, giving us one and a half G of thrust. So yeah, let's do that drive system upgrade. And then... It's time for some more contracts. So, this is an escort you don't really like. It's a battle in the Badlands. Destroy base, Polar. Okay. 662,000 sea bills. A desert battle. Uh. Right. Yeah, I think we'll do this one. The Torian Manufacturing Facility on Smitham is an illegal intrusion into our territory and a cover for military personnel and units. Our efforts to resolve this through diplomatic channels have been rebuffed, so we are now turning to a military solution. The facility must be destroyed. Darius says that we should expect heavy resistance. The Irano Restoration isn't saying what's in that facility, but whatever it is has them riled up. Okay. So we could get, let's do that, so we're getting three salvage, 210,700 sea bills, and the Torian Concarda don't like us anymore, but that's fine, the Torians are our enemies. Um, we will keep Battlecry and Renegade, I think. And have, yeah, let's just keep that lance, get them some more experience. I had hoped that we would be doing um, the next like story mission this playthrough, but these are okay. Command interface initiated. Your target is the nearby Torian base, says Darius. Assault the base and destroy enough of it to force the Torians to abandon the location. We should expect strong opposition on this one. Be wary, Commander. Oliviera out. Let's go. Ready to rock, Chief. Right. Okay. I think we'll go down the road. Normally I position would confirmed. use jump jets and go over the mountains, but um, we can't actually do that, so we won't. Instead, we will go this way. Over this little hill and attack that. Got it. What is this? Roger that. Ah, okay. That's alright, because Battle Cry has the LRMs, so. She can be sat behind the mountain, no worries at all. Okay. The map's a bit confusing on this one, but anyway. Heading out. Oh yeah, there's uh, on my way. There's the enemy. On my way. I knew there was somewhere. 
There's that strong opposition, Commander. Watch your position and don't get flanked. He's got an unknown on sensors. Okay, what have we got? Turrets and Oh. Focused. Well. I want to steer clear of the turrets though. Permission? Maybe. Light damage, Commander. That is either a Shadow Hawk or a Wolverine. Light damage. Holding firm. That is... an LRM and a load of... Uh, sorry, a large laser and a load of LRMs? Crab, maybe? No, the crab's got lots of lasers. Not sure what that was. Vindicator, maybe? Hmm. There's a lot of mechs here. Okay. Right. Uh, let us use Claymore's sensor lock. There we go. Right here. Mm -hmm. Bring Renegade into the woods. Mm -hmm. here we and go. We'll knock the locusts evasion down a bit. If we're lucky, we'll hit it. Yeah, there goes two more. One, two, three, four. One. We've got a, at least a full lance of regions. Um, that's alright. We can cope with that. That could be enough to destroy it, to be honest. Yep, there we go. Oh, it's a Centurion. And what's that? It's a Wolverine. Okay. All weapons committed. Too many misses there for my liking, but yeah. Okay. Ooh, that is a lot of LRMs. Uh, so I'm going to get beaten up now. Okay, that's fine. Bring the rest of the lance up and we'll shoot up these mediums. I should have enough armor plate to weather all that fire. Warning. Armor low. Fingers crossed. Fingers very crossed. I wonder if that's a black knight. No, that's got PPC normally. And is a heavy. Oh god. Okay. So that was one, two, three, four, five uh, max. Five max shooting at me. Uh, not great, not ideal. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's perhaps Ready for orders. try and even the odds a bit there. Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay. Confirmed. <laughs> Let's 
precision strike the centurion again. Let's maybe try and intercept these three. Mm -hmm. I'm going. Centurion, Shadowhawk, and a Cicada. Okay. So that thing shooting the large laser is a Centurion. Interesting. I didn't know. Alright. Take this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Waiting for orders. Location confirmed. I'm not too bothered about the cicada, they're pretty flimsy, you just gotta hit them. Let's see how you like, like that. This. Yeah, what game? What game are you interested in that you would like? damaged this isn't so let's shoot the one that's damaged oh yeah no absolutely really good game <laughs> I totally support your desire to get Dragon Age Inquisition okay Morning. Armor low. it's fine <clears throat> this is fine everything is fine Should have withdrawn, I think. Not from the mission, but I should have moved myself back. Claim all back. Ah, yikes. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. Warning. Weapon system destroyed. Pants. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. <laughs> Yeah, the Dragon Age series is really good. Um, I'm a big fan. I've never actually finished Origins. I've played it, like, many times. But I've never actually got all the way through to the end. No. Things are going badly. I was obviously listening to my previous comment about not ganging up on a single mech. What's up, boss? Um, right, okay. What to do, what to do. It's the Centurion yeah. which is damaged, that's the Wolverine which is not. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think if you like Skyrim, Fallout, you're going to really enjoy Dragon Age, and Inquisition is really good. Um, it's a very big game. There's an awful lot of stuff to do. Um, so, yeah, it's a good game. Um, right. Confirmed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, the relationship possibilities in in uh, Dragon Age are really good. I've been sensor locked. Okay, so I've lost two medium lasers. 
and am thoroughly banged up. But, not the end of the world. Still have both my legs. Oh, okay. Is that the Telltale Games ones? Telltale Games Walking Dead stuff. Why is the to hit chance so low? Oh, okay. Stood up. Target move, target size. Yeah, okay. Understandable. Head hit, though. Yeah. Okay. They've got a sensor lock on me. Oh, yeah. oh that's not too good. I'm under heavy fire. Okay, so by moving McLeod 1 behind McLeod 4, I've changed the way the AI is acting. So the AI is now no longer shooting at McLeod 1. Oh, okay. That's quite good that there are so many of them are free. I didn't realise that. I've only ever seen them being played. Um, I've not actually played them myself. But you'd recommend them, would you? look out for them. If I can pick them up for cheap or for free, then I'll uh, certainly do that. I'm not exactly a fan of how these medium mechs are dealing with me at the moment. Not good, not good. I agree, absolutely not good. Right, okay. Um, if we move around like that... And then strike Centurion. Give it a go. Okay. Jump scares. Yeah. Oh well, that's not too bad. This. Good to go. I can imagine there being some significant jump scares, though, given the nature of Walking Dead. Affirmative. Right. Ah, good, okay, we're finally getting to the point where we're chewing through people's armour now. That's left arm and left leg destroyed on that Shadow Hawk. Which means. Hope. That I can now. Location confirmed. It's full armor on that. Not the leg, though. Let's see if we can take the leg off. We can't, but we have injured the planet. <laughs> yeah, the castle in Origins is pretty cool. Um, okay, so what I could do is I could get McLeod 4 to go and punch the Centurion, which would do 135 damage. That is an option. Let's try it. Targeting for physical attack. Nice, that was the right answer to that question of what to do with the Centurion. Tango down. I've been sensor locked. They got a sensor lock on me. Okay. <clears throat> What was your favourite um, beginning of all the different options in Origins, then? Ooh, they're picking on me again. Swines. Uh, okay, lost heat sink. Warning. Damage critical. I mean, I've lost two medium lasers as well, so it's not that bad. That could be, though. Okay. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, the human noble um, beginning is quite interesting. That weren't much. I think my favourite was the... Um... Oh, okay. I, I've played it through enough times to get basically all of the starts played at least once. Um, my favourite was the Dalish Elf, I think. Because she, you can turn her into such a, a psychopath. <laughs> Uh, right, let's let's not play around. Let's just yeah, that's fair. If you want to be a human and a rogue, be a human and a rogue. Um, ah, the Shadow Hawk is standing up. I forgot that it was still functional. I um, must admit that most of my playthroughs were of some variety of fighter. I had one where I was a mage, one where I was a rogue, or maybe two where I was a rogue. But generally speaking, I find fighters to be much easier <laughs> to play. Um, okay. Copy that. Okay. Affirmative. Good. That's another one down. Target eliminated. Reporting. Um, I'm tempted to go and punch the cicada. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the it's very much um, in the sort of mould of Baldur's Gate um, and all that, all those sorts of games um, from the 90s. I'm on my way. Um, but just updated, so. <clears throat> It is in fact um, very similar in lots of ways to um, Knights of the Old Republic. Um, which is equally a good game and you can get that pretty cheap. In fact if you've not played Knights of the Old Republic I really strongly recommend that you do um, because if you are even vaguely a Star Wars fan um, Knights of the Old Republic is just absolutely oh, yeah. superb. Really, really high quality game. In fact, I would go so far as to say it's one of the best Star Wars things out there, full stop. Um, certainly Knights of the Old Republic 2. Yeah. Yeah, Knights of the Old Republic. Top quality stuff. Sensor locks. Sensor locks everywhere. Say hello to your cat for me. Ooh. Okay, I don't think there was any weapon systems on the left arm. Um, but that is worth noting. Oh, there was the medium laser. Uh, there was an improved medium laser as well. Never mind. Okay. What I'm going to do, though, is we're going to steadfastly sort of attempt to ignore the... Well, not ignore, but... Um, no, we'll leave that for the moment. Right. Uh, and just shoot up the Wolverine. See if we can take the leg off. We're not, but there we go. Commander. Um. Oh, hey, Doc. That took me a second to read. Um, yeah, so, kind of. There's definitely more lines. But I think it's a bit more like Skyrim than, um... Say, anything else. Right, I'm going to risk it. Affirmative. Okay. I think the laser from that just went Ready straight into the ground. So, you know, quality shooting there, people. Move order received. Oh, no. I'm sorry you can't see the screen. Um, all is good. 
How about you? Are you back from your holiday in land of beauty and all that sort of stuff? Acknowledged. Five whole people on stream. Four whole people. Five? Four? I'm getting conflicting reports. Uh, that's disappointing. I was kind of hoping to knock out the Wolverine, but um, I couldn't really focus fire on it properly. Never mind. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Warning. Ah, no. Huh. Okay, I might have to Weapon punch system. out of Destroy. the Black Knight. Because it is becoming increasingly untenable as a mech. Warning. And... I don't want Claymore to be out of action for another, like, 100 days or something. Although that may be a moot point if it takes too much more damage. Ooh, okay. That hit internal structure. Right. Yes, Commander. I think before I make any decisions with six people on stream. Hello, six people on stream. Before I make any decisions um, relating to, yeah, the follow conversations are good, um, Claymore, and what Claymore is going to do, I'm going to see if I can take out this Cicada, because they have the armour of paper. I think I hit something good. There we go, see, took a leg off. And... Yes. There. Confirmed. So what I'm trying to do here is use the dragons. Um, Lock in target. What I have successfully, I think, been trying to do is use the dragons to take the reinforcement that lance out. Hit. Whilst much less successfully, Claymore and um, Battlecry deal with the base garrison. However, um, I'm now li missing well over half of my medium lasers. I've only got one injury point left and it's covered in internal damage, so I'm actually going to punch Claymore out. Ejecting. Okay. Yes, Commander. That is a huge pain, but never mind. We'll just have to carry on and win the day regardless. Yeah, the um, Romancing the Followers in Fallout 4 is quite good fun. Um, Piper is easily my favourite of all the followers. Good, excellent. Right, that's the... There's now only two mechs left. I think they both Centurions? No, one's a Wolverine and one's a Centurion. And then, of course, all of the uh, turrets. Let's hit him hard. Turrets aren't too much of an issue. Not much armor left in that location. That's good going. On the romancing front there. Okay, so now we have an interesting conundrum. Because of the defence max, the reinforcement centurion is at full health. The wolverine is pretty banged up, but our dragons are much worse for wear. Turrets, there are one, two, three. There's another one around here somewhere. Should be another one. Uh, one, two, it's interesting. It's normally four turrets. When is the fourth one? There. Four. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we are going to focus on this Centurion. 
and at the same time attempt to stay as much out of the way of the turrets as we can. Moving. To that end, we're going to use some precision shooting. Precision striking. And if we can take the legs off, even better. Receiving you. Right. Roger that. Yeah, the factions are quite good. Um, Acknowledged. Okay, so that is now going to be moving next turn Ready after all of our mechs, which is what we want. And then... <laughs> yeah, I think that's a, a fair assessment, to be honest, of the Brotherhood of Steel and the Railroad. No. Okay, that's really bad. I lost a weapon. That's really bad. Bear Moth's lost her. Um, I didn't really side with any faction. Um, I haven't actually finished my Fallout 4 playthrough. Um, uh, oh, oh no. Need a medic. This is a crash course in how not to do these Order. missions. And you'll see that this is actually why I normally come over the mountain. Because coming down this way is basically a frontal assault on a defender position, which is never a good idea ever. Um, in fact, I just want to reiterate that. I, find that I don't actually know how far I got, to be honest. I got power armour. I almost started stomping around in power armour. And um, I did some bits and pieces. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I played Fallout 4. Engaging with target. So basically what we have here now is Behemoth operating a very, uh, um. very large... Scout mech, uh, which is not ideal. Uh, copy. Um, so all of the work Confirmed. is really now going to have to be done by Renegade and Battlecry, Order. whose mechs are not really well suited to the task. I gotta say. Um, so I think we're gonna have to use the small lasers. Aye, aye. Yikes. That twin PPC turret is pulling its weight. Medals for the crew, I think. If they survive. See how tough these medium max are. Shit, Commander. I, I, I lost a weapon. Ooh, dear. Receiving you. Okay, so no more small lasers. Um, which is concerning. left torso that's been hit, so... Well... <laughs> this is proving to be a bit of a disastrous slugging match, to be honest. Confirmed. 
No, I've not completed Skyrim either. With these games, what I, because they're so large, what I tend to do is just sort of play around in them. Um, I don't really like to play the main storyline. Um, more often than not, what I'll do is just walk around, do quests I like, create my own sort of story for the character. Um, just because they're so huge. Um, I've been sensor locked. I don't know. That PPC turret absolutely medals for the crew. Well, yeah, I mean, the um, assassin, the assassins guild, Dark Brotherhood. That one tagged me good. I think. Um, and the Thieves Guild and stuff, I, you know, I did all of that, but... Uh, right. Move order received. Precision strike. Legs. Okay, large lasers destroyed. That hit something good. Reporting. Um... Confirmed. Look how much armor this thing still has. Fire Good, right leg destroyed. And the right torso destroyed. And the pilot injured. <laughs> Just because they have Brotherhood in the name doesn't mean they're the same thing. Yes! Okay, pilot incapacitated. At last. Oh my god, that took way too long. Um, way, way, way too long. Got it. Right, okay. Engaging target. And now we've got to deal with this blimmin' Wolverine. <laughs> oh, that's better, at least one of them missed. Right. Hard hit there. Okay, where's the Wolverine going? Eee, that's a lot of damage. Did not like. Waiting for Did order. not like. Uh, right. Roger. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, it's just very hard. Unless you are doing it when you're quite high level. But it's still, like... On the other hand, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Because the Dark Brotherhood quest lines are brilliant. Um... I copy. Okay, so Renegade is now currently the only Moving. pilot who is not injured and has a mech with all of its weapons. So, uh, that's good. Affirmative. Right leg destroyed. Good. Okay. I was so confident going into this mission. It's, that like, it's two skulls hit. and I've got a lance full of heavies. I'll be fine. <sighs> Hubris. Standing by. Hubris, I tell you. Uh, right, okay. Position confirmed. Yeah, the Night Mother is pretty creepy. So, this is now turning into um, what we call Firing. an object lesson in how not to do it. They got a lock on me. I'm falling. Oh, no. Okay, so every pilot has been injured. I've effectively lost a mech. I've lost plenty of weapon systems. Waiting for orders. This is this is just embarrassing now. Acknowledged. Why would you not? The sanctuary's amazing. Um also, Skyrim with mods is really good as well. So I don't need to precision strike it because it's already. Yeah. Locking on. Die, damn you, die. Standing by. <clears throat> okay. So. The issue we're having here. Now, good, right, okay, so that's the 
enemy max destroyed. The issue we now have is how to um, sneak up on the turrets without getting absolutely spanked by them. Got this dang thing back up. Yep. So what we're going to have to do is um, I think if we come across this way. Right. Mac is limping. Hmm. Yeah, I know it's limping. Hell yeah. Okay, good. So I Order. think if we just go up this road, Copy that. what we can do is we can take out this turret and then sort of work that way. So if we can take them out one at a time. Mm. And it keeps the terrain in between us. Yeah, that's really, really useful, that skeleton key. I can't think why you want to hang on to it. Uh, right, okay. So, I had hoped, ah, oh, good grief, I was so close to running out of ammunition on everything, it's ridiculous, I might end up having to punch turrets, I'm not even sure you can do that. But I've got like Moving to position. three and a bit reloads worth uh, for behemoths. Oh, neither. If I have to pick, then Imperials, because the Stormcloaks are all racist nutcases. Um, battle cry's got Order. four shots left. Um, let's sensor lock this thing and find out what it is. It's a standard LRM turret. Okay. I copy. Um, it means I can see it. I've got three shots with the AC5. Oh my god. Hundred and fifty-seven. <laughs> oh okay, well, let's precision strike it. Uh, does precision strike make any difference? No, it doesn't. Okay. Confirmed. A hit. Success. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's that's basically what I think as well. Um, Ready for orders. But the high elves, the Thalmor, and that. Are um, not exactly great out. either. So yeah, I tend to just ignore that storyline. I've done it both sides. I've done both sides of it for the for the um, achievements. But Reporting. right, battle cry. Ready for orders. Um, move battle cry up here. Confirmed. And then having. Done that. Sense lock again. I've got yeah, nobody cares. I, th I always figure that's just like people are like, oh yeah, and like we know you shouldn't have that, but also we don't care. We're not going to tell anybody. Um, Eighty-five percent hit again. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Good, okay, right. We've got sort of a chance. Um, can't go that way. It's out of range though. Maybe if we go down there? No, we'll just get shot at. The butt 
future mission window. I don't know that one. If I do, I can't remember it. Um, right. Move Baymoth down there. Can they do anything? Nope, they can't. Excellent. Right. Mm. I'm on my way. This is Bay this is Renegade's last AC five shot. <sighs> Blimey. Confirmed. Hey, okay, so that's one turret down. Target destroyed. Oh, I see. Ah, whoops. At least it's not as bad as um, Morrowind. I don't know if you've ever played Morrowind, but in that, um, you had the there were missions where you could effectively just accidentally break the game. Heading out. Um. So the way it worked was that you could kill basically anyone in the game. Nobody was uh, Commander. unkillable. Oh, the the yes, I know the murderer. Yeah, I know that one. I do that. I do know that one. Um, yeah. So in Morrowind, you, there are characters you can kill who are like Commander. core plot critical. Um, Affirmative. So you can kill them, and then the, a message comes up saying, "Ah, oh, you have broken the threads of fate. Like everything is doomed. Why have you done this?" Um, This sniper turret has given me so much, so many problems. I'm looking forward very much to destroying it. Yeah, don't tell me because I've not actually finished that mission, so I don't know. Right. For YouTube viewers, um, this is now just me grinding through this. So, unless something dramatic happens, like I lose the entirety of my lance, I am um, not going to show you the rest of this, because it's just going to be me crunching through. So the next thing YouTube viewers will see will be mission complete. Ah, I can shoot the turret. Good, good. Reserving action. <laughs> no. I took a hit to my inner no. No. Oh my God. Commander. Yes, Commander. I'm gonna have to withdraw. I'm gonna have to withdraw. I literally have no weapons. I can't achieve the win condition because I have no weapons. <laughs> uh, that's painful. You better return to the Argo commander so we can sort this out. The commander orders a retreat. <laughs> oh my god. So painful. Good faith effort. It wasn't a total wash, but it wasn't a roaring success either. I understand not every mission is going to be a gold star victory, but I hope this isn't an indication of future performance. So we got 136,955 sea bills. Jesus. Everybody injured. Every mech needing rebuilding. That was not even close to a good outcome. That was not even close to a good outcome. <sighs> uh. Why? Okay.
I've finalised the details of our trip to our true Commander MacLeod. With luck, the map Dr Murad discovered will lead us straight to Castle Nautilus. The contract is ready for review in the command centre. We're going to need to do some mech repairs for our next contract, boss. Can't go into combat like this. See you in the mech bay when you're ready. Yep. Yep, indeed. Right. Um, I'm out of action for 52 days. Battlecry and Renegade are out for a month. And Behemoth's out for a couple of weeks. Oh, good lord. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's just quickly go to the store. Um... Hiring hall. I think what we need to do is need to get ourselves another pilot. Yes, Commander. Awaiting orders. He's quite good. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's uh, put our mechs back together. Oh wow. So painful. Right. Equipment. Heat sink. Weapons. Okay, we're going to try out a new build. With this. Of large lasers, a couple of medium lasers, okay, maybe not that, about jump jets maybe. I'm afraid I've not played Inquisition enough to be able to give you any sensible advice. Um, yeah. Other than it's very big, but good fun. Okay, so what I've done with the Black Knight is I've added some jump jets. So I can do things like jump over mountains. Um, swapped out some of the many of the medium lasers for large lasers um, which reduces its overall damage but increases the pinpoint damage um, and the heat efficiency is still pretty good so there's that um, right. AC5 with extra stability damage oh yeah yeah absolutely Character customization is really good. Really, really, really excellent. And I'm going to put the medium laser in the torso rather than the arm so that it doesn't get blown off too quickly. Right, we need SRM ammo. And we're going to put a medium laser in here. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. So we're just going to wait now until we've got our mechs back up and running. And on that note, 
next week we will do our true which is the funky mission um although i may have a fiddle around and see if we can upgrade our mechs before we do that um i would like to replace the dragons with something a bit better because at the moment they're basically light very light heavies the top end mediums really more than more than heavy mechs um but anyway Thank you very much for coming along to the stream. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed both. Um, please do leave a like, subscribe, follow, all of the usual internet-y type things. And I will see you all tomorrow for MechWarrior for Mercenaries action. Thank you very much, and I hope you all have a lovely day.